Jay Ben, I went to um, Z Gallery. I think I've been to Z Gallery maybe once or twice before. And I'm not really a glam person, so that's why I don't really shop there. But we're just walking there because we're just trying to kill time and just hanging out. I was honestly surprised so, by... A I do love a few of the um, home accessories, the less um, glam ones. But I was shocked overall just how this store was. And surprisingly, just by walking through the store, we found out this is an outlet. It was an outlet, so that I just got perked up even more. But we went here just, just again, just to kill time and... We found something and I was I was amazed by what we found and it was it was not on our radar to make a purchase from the store so I can't wait to show you what it was but really beautiful. Shortly you're gonna see this beautiful bench that they had at a dining table. Really, really stunning. I think it's another way you can just kinda upcycle. I'm sorry not upcycle, but elevate your dining room set by using bench instead of using all tables. I'm sorry, instead of using all chairs. So check it out and let me know what you think. No, here's a famous entryway table that everyone has who truly enjoys shopping at the gallery. It is beautiful, but people that I know who love this store, this is a statement in their home. Well, the sofa in front, we saw that and we loved it. I can't wait for my husband to start showing you <clears throat> to get to that clip. It is truly stunning. Um, so we saw this sofa in the front of the store, loved it, really beautiful, and it's called the Del Mar Daybed Sectional Two-Piece, and it's ranged between $3,000 up to around $3,500. Now, the kicker with this piece of furniture is that it was, they had another piece in the back which was damaged, it was heavily sold, and they had it marked down to at least 80% off. So the wonderful thing is that JB and I got this beautiful sofa for around seven hundred dollars it is truly truly amazing we were able to get it home and we start doing our thing on it here you go you're gonna see some of the marks some of the soil that was on the sofa we honestly took our time put some hard work into it put some tears into it to make it our own it did it it took it took a minute it took a few days to get it down we're able to take off some of the cushion wash the cushions and just get it to way that it was just perfect for us. And we use OxyClean. I'm going to insert the products that we use. But this was a huge savings for us. And that's how we shop. We're going to find a deal. JB and I, we're going to find the deal. The things that people overlook, we take it and we put some love into it and make it our own. And it has truly, truly transformed our family room. And I cannot wait to show you the reveal. So if you see something in the store, don't walk away from it. Take some time, do some research, and make and bring it to life. We're taking out this leather um, piece from upstairs that we have in our family room. And we did this right at the beginning of the new year. So it's going to go, these two chairs are going to go eventually, but we're going to keep it for a little bit until we find the two replacement that we're going to put in the space. But I'm so excited. Um, here goes my husband and boys trying to take this beast to the basement. We did get it down there. No one was hurt in the process. Thank you, Lord. And then we did go ahead and bring up the new piece. So in the next picture, you will see the finished product. Guys, be open-minded when you shop. And again, I'm going to end by saying, don't allow your budget to limit your creativity. We love you. Thank you for supporting us. Enjoy the rest of the video. And don't forget to comment and subscribe below. first clip that um jade and i went to z gallery and we we found a gem okay we found a gem and my husband did his thing and this is what it looks like once it's clean it took us about maybe like two days to get it done but we honestly love it it completely transformed our space um you guys know we love restoration hardware and this is very much similar to their 
um, Medina um, sofa. And they have a section now of the sofa, but we love the the uh, the clean lines of the of the armor. This this piece again again very much similar to Restoration Hardware vibe, and we want to keep it really simple with the styling. But I think we always say this: be open minded when you shop. Go to the outlet. Go to the damage section because we found it's just tucked away somewhere and we just like, I was like, babe, no, this ain't gonna work. But I'm thankful that we gave it a try and it is a great find and I can't wait to style it so you guys can see what it looks like. So let's get it ready. Okay, so we want, I want to style it very much similar to Restoration Hardware where it's pretty much less it's not a lot of stuff on the on the um on the sofa so this is how it's style in the catalog with just with just a few pillars in there and it's kind of full for pillars so and i do have some of those so let's see what happened maybe can have oh this is my OJ. babe dark couch <laughs> okay so i was going to use these right And baby famous chop. You can keep it really oh you can keep it really simple. I think that's good. And then what do we need next, love? Throw. Okay. I always gotta throw. So do we use the knitted or do we use these four fur? I'm big on a knitted. Knit? Very big on a knitted. Okay. So maybe Like this, I don't like to make it neat. I guess I could just kind of oh, throw yeah. it down. Oh, yeah, yeah, just throw, just so throw it down. Messy. There you go, like that. Yep, and remember, I got this from Target clearance. Okay, so don't forget to check out the clearance on the Target. It's nice, simple, inviting, yes, clean. All of the above. I, mean, I love. I love the neutral colors. Everything. Everything is neutral. You, if you want to jazz it up, you can. If you throw some color yeah. in there, but I, I love the. I love the entire room. Look, check the check this room out. Neutral base standpoint. And if, but go ahead. And if y'all remember what it looked like when we had the leather sofa, it wasn't bad, but I feel like it didn't tie in well with the with our style and with the space. Wouldn't you say? No, I think we just outgrew it. What, it yeah. was trying. It's trying to change. I mean, okay. and then guys, not knocking the leather. You know, I love the leather. I'm, I'm all a man. Hoo -hoo. <laughs> okay. So, Got a couch. <laughs> okay. So you see why Jamie had to come back? I needed. I needed a boost. Okay. But if you guys don't like the the neutralness of this style, you can definitely whatever color that works for you i love the fact that it's something you can work with and i think this will work with anybody's um design style okay babe so here we go um i always gotta give my critique of my wife she's not here so don't ever worry about it it's all good um i like the way it came out i think that she always does a good job when she's putting things together i think the linen and all that good stuff it, it goes well but I want to hear from you all. So, what you think about adding color to to the the, the sofa itself, or even to the table? Um, don't know. Don't know. Don't know how to go. Well, maybe, maybe. Hey, drop a comment below. At least let me know. We don't have to let her in on it. Just, just me and you, right? Um, I think she did a pretty good job. No, no complaints whatsoever. She always do a good job, don't she? If you think so, give her a thumbs up. Let her know how good she's doing, right? But hey, just between me and you, I'm not going to give it to nobody else. I just want to talk to you all as well. I haven't seen you in a while. Thought, hey, a little JV time wouldn't hurt at all. Well, I'm going to sneak this in. She ain't going to know. But hey, more the better. Talk to you later. Okay. I love the fact that it's oversized and it's it's a that bright pop against everything that's so white. Oh yeah. And I think with a high glass, it just it just brings more attention to it. And of course, what would it be to have a restoration style space without having a vessel and of course some kind of bust? 
okay? The horse. Yeah, and we've had this a while, but these three vessels right here, I just sourced these recently from from Home Goods. Yes, yeah. yeah. And they were still got the price on it, $16.99. So therefore, even though we like restoration hardware, you can definitely be inspired, but then find a price point that works with your budget. And of course, we're gonna have books and we're gonna have full boxes, okay? And of course, we're gonna have our candle. This one, the candles that I- Target? Yeah, from Target and Clarence. And this is a lemon scent, we have burning. And honestly, it smells amazing. So this is this is the table and yeah. Oh, is that a Dior book? It is. It's is that a know, Dior new look book? I, I don't wanna mess up my decor. I'm gonna do a video about my cover table collection. Cover table book collection so you guys can see what it looks like, what, what I what I have so far. So I'm gonna save that to show you guys at a later date. But let me go ahead, get rid of some of these pillars, and then you can see the four. Oh, uh, we got Spider Man. Spidey, you ready to decorate? I'm Deadpool. <laughs> go, uh, Spidey slash Deadpool. My, dead. my bad, Deadpool. I'm Deadpool. My bad, Deadpool. Oh, Deadpool, get yourself right. Why well, you all over the place? Oh, looking good, though. Can I get my money? Uh, Don't worry about it. Let's go let's decorate real quick, Deadpool. Uh -oh. All right, we got these two chairs right here. We want to go ahead and finish up along with this beautiful linen uh, chair that we got from Z Gallery. A couple of things that we're probably going to need is, I always know my wife loves pillows. Number one. Number two is, let's get a throw, right? You got this fox fur throw, which is already folded to my wife's specification. Because you know how she is. She, you got to be right. If it's not right, it's not tight. It just ain't going to work. What we do is we just take it. We gently uh, hang it over. Okay, side. love. Okay, I'm proud. Okay. Where, where, where that thing hangs. <laughs> you, want, you want to hang just, just right. You know what I mean? Make sure it's folded right. You know how she is. I'll, I'll be in, in trouble if I don't fold it right. And then we got some lovely pillows. Right? Let's go with our lovely pillows. Let's start over here with the, the chair that's here in the back. I'm going to put it down like she do. Boom. She normally throws it down. And what else? Get, ah, Boom. Get that shot one time. Yep, see that? Oh. Talk, talk about a spotty slash dead pool. Talk about it. There we go. So we run back over here. Woo! I'm running, guys. I'm running. Boom! Babe, that's too much. Let's grab it. Because I don't do the running, right? <laughs> <laughs> Same thing, right? Let's just toss it. Do it the wife style. Boom! Toss it. And wada! Kidding. I'm messing around, but 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 here here it goes, right? You got a living room. Oh, I bet you want to wipe the table off for me, please. I see a spot. What? Just right there, right, right there. Babe, just wipe it up. Jackson, get out of the way. Hey, Jose, Jose. Deadpool. You mind wiping the table down, please? Yeah. Right there, right there, Deadpool. There you go. Oh, my, good my job, Bobo. My man Dave. Good stuff, bro. Good, babe, good stuff. babe, go ahead and give me a little bit of one, two. It bugs Let's me. Finish real quick. Get it, babe. Get it. Oh, oh. Get it. Get it. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> Are you done? Say what you want to say to me. 